welcome once again to yet another video and for all of you blender users out there finally we've gotten blender 3.0 the stable version out now which is pretty awesome um, seeing how the new features especially for rendering is going I think uh, we're going to try out some amazing stuff for our future projects uh, going forward with uh, this new version and right now uh, the intro that we just saw I'm going to do a quick setup of how to be able to um, put in a video on a screen or any um, object so you can play it back so that's very useful if we we'll have a TV setup so what we're going to do is um, we're going to actually use the setup that we did for uh, the previous video on emitting lights on uh, from surfaces so on this instance a tv screen if you've not seen that video uh, i'll leave a link in the top right corner so you could check it out how the setup is but it's, it's just the same thing but we're just going to play around with the how, how to set it up for video and then you, just, you can use that for any presentation if you're doing an art based project and you just want to render out a video like on a screen you can easily do that so um i'm going to jump into our setup that we've done and all the magic will happen within our image uh, node so we have if i hit on the viewport now we have um, like previously we have the lights within the room so this is actually illuminating the whole room itself no light source from anywhere and basically this setup will do so you could see that um, we have our light path our missions all set up so what we can do is since we have this on we can basically use a video to actually play on the screen now when we do load up the video um, I think we can try out let me put in the very animation itself that we did so what do we have here when we load in a video this time around and I think uh, mp4 really works well when you load in a mp4 mp4 files are really good so um when you load it up basically you're going to be met with frames star frame offsets cyclic auto refresh and what you are only going to be needing now is just the frames and just make make sure the auto refresh is on star frame is normally the f uh, the first frame you wanted to begin with which in this case is the first uh, frame one now this animation took about um, about uh, about five to six seconds. So I'm going to load in uh, 105 to six seconds. You're looking at about 180 to 200 frames, but I'll set it to 180. So the video that will be played on the object or the screen in this uh, instance would be 180 frames. So uh, I think whenever you set this also up and you come to your timeline, it picks that number that you used and it's going to load it up here. But if it doesn't, what you can do is always try to, you know, if your animation is going to be longer than that, you can set your end frames, the number of frames you would want to um, uh, have your animation play back. So for you to actually view this, you can actually um, hit on play and to show but it will be a bit uh, slow because we are in the cycles render engine so I'll switch over to our EV engine and we're going to start from frame one so, so you can actually see the video playback on the screen now to give some sense of uh, we're gonna switch over to our screen here and also give that play back so there we have it so it's just a quick video that you can use to set up a TV screen on any subject and when you render you get that video that we uh, had for the intro so this is just a quick video how to actually add um, video files to your uh, objects to you know show 
show on the, the on the material so thank you and um, myself I'm going to be exploring the uh, blender 3.0 see some new features that I could be using for projects for maybe art phase and rendering techniques that we could uh, try out with the new cycles X engine that we've just gotten so uh, I'll catch you in the next video and uh, thank you <laughs>